Okay, this video is going to be about making all-natural petroleum jelly soaked cotton balls. Now we're not going to be using petroleum jelly. Uh, technically we are going to be using a form of cotton. So what we have here is uh, cotton from a cottonwood tree. And these can be found all throughout North America. They're pretty common. You might notice it's snowing in the springtime. And that's because it's the cottonwood uh, falling from the trees and it looks like snow. And it's, it's almost a nuisance in some areas because it just litters the ground. So what you can do is just collect it. A lot of times it'll blow and gather in certain areas, kind of like a snow drift. So you can just uh, pick it up and, and collect it. Um, it can be a little difficult sometimes because it's got little like seeds, it, it comes in pods. So it's not just pure fluff, you have to process it like you do any tender and separate those seeds. If it's fresh, they'll be green and obviously you don't want anything green in your tender. So you'll want to sit it out in the sun like this and let it dry after you process it down, fluff it out. Um, if you have a fire already, you can set it by the fire and let it dry without sparking because you just want it really dry collect as much as you can so that's the cotton part of it now in the area that I'm at we also have pine trees so if you're in an area that has both of these you can get the cotton and the pine sap so what I did was a hacked into the tree like this. You just make a wound and you put something in there to collect the sap. This one, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be draining yet, so there's no sap there. But this one up here there is. You might be able to see it in there. I've already collected from it once, but it's still extruding, so I'm gonna keep getting more. Um, one thing about sapping trees is don't do it unless you have to. Uh, a lot of times you can find pine sap just leaking out of out of the nubs. These in this area, these trees, they're not really um, they don't really have a lot of sap, so they're not really good for fat wood. Um, that I've noticed, I don't really know how to harvest it because all these nubs are just dead, you break them off, there's nothing there worth claiming, so. It does still have sap running through it. If you create a wound, you can get some. Now this particular tree is really half dead. It was a double, and the double already broke off. It was right here. So this whole thing is a widow maker, and it's right in the middle of my camp. So I don't really care if I kill it the rest of the way because it's a danger anyways. You can see those limbs up there right about to fall. So it's kind of a danger to even be here, but I'm taking a chance. Anyway, that's why I decided that I, I can hack into it and I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it for wounding or killing a tree because this tree's halfway dead and needs to be dead anyways. Uh, this is a Gatorade bottle I cut in half. I'd actually used it for a minnow trap previously. This was trash that I found out in the woods and I just repurposed it. Um, I didn't even have to do anything to, to make it a collection cup. I just wedged it in like that and it just fits. And the sap, once it starts flowing, helps to hold it in. So you just cut a groove and pinch it, slides right up in there. You can see a little droplet. Use the reflection to get some light in there. A drop of sap right there. There is some at the bottom of this. So, what we'll do, see if we can scrape up some of this from in here. It did run down the tree, but I collected most of that. Flows really slow. Yeah, not a whole lot here. 
So we got a little on there. basically just use the cotton to soak it all up pull it off here so that would be like one cotton ball I've already collected the rest of this and made other ones so I don't have a whole lot so that's really all that's left but that'll be enough for this demonstration so Actually, you can just put as much as you want on there. Just let it all absorb it. It's going to be kind of messy because it is sap. Alright, so... piece of wood there now you do want to fluff that up you don't want it all compacted let's go ahead and give it a light see how that works see the cotton takes pretty good Now the one thing about this is it kind of uh, suffocates itself, so you got to have it open and give that sap a chance to actually catch. Once the sap catches, it'll keep burning. If you were to just light the cotton. It's really basically like uh, cattail fluff. It's just flash tinder. So it's gonna do what it did initially. It'll just flash out. You'll get some flame, but it, I mean, that wouldn't even really probably even burn long enough to catch leaves. However, right now you can see it's obviously burning in, I'll take that wood out so you know that it's burning the sap. So that's just all sap. You can see the black smoke coming off of it. And it's not going to burn quite as well as uh, pure cotton because this, unless you really refine it, you get all the seeds out, you let it dry, you fluff it up, it's not going to be quite as good as cotton. So you can't just spark it, throw it in, and, and count on it to, to go. You might have to do what I did, light it, fluff it up again, get the sap lit. You can see that's still burning, so a little tiny uh, ball of cotton and uh, cottonwood isn't going to burn like that. And the way the sap burns, it it gets uh, really hot and can just burn by itself. So really, the cotton is acting just as an agent to hold the sap, and it allow the sap to dry. So it's not just lit, messy liquid. And it'll also take a spark, whereas a, just a ball of sap probably isn't going to take a spark too well. See, it's really burning good there. It goes out and you give it more air and it'll light back up again. <clears throat> and that was probably maybe half the amount of cotton in a cotton ball and just uh, a small small glob of sap so we have about at least two minutes of flame from half a cotton ball and a small thing of sap so it's out now
probably light it again. Yeah, so it's pretty much burnt out. But it's just an idea, so if you're looking for tinder and you have access to, I mean, first of all, pine trees, you shouldn't have any problem getting fire going if you just have a pine tree alone. But if you do have a cottonwood, you can make these just out of uh, natural materials. And um, you could probably, if you had a bow drill, use uh, the cotton as your tinder bundle and blow that coal into the cotton. It can be kind of hit or miss sometimes with this because a lot of times it'll just smolder. But I haven't done it. You could try it and then just use the, the cotton and sap as your, your tinder bundle. So that would just be complete primitive means of uh, starting fire. Alright, that's it on this one guys. Thanks for watching.